All right, folks, this is TJ. So, this is Kendama. How many of you have seen what this thing is or know, you know what to do with it? Cool. I'm here to teach you guys about Kendama and the benefits of why you should play it and be invested in time with it. Imagine, so close your eyes here. Imagine being professional for your favorite sport. What a dream, right? Now go ahead and imagine yourself as a teenager. So go back to when you were 13 or 14 years old. Maybe you're playing in the park, or maybe you're riding your bike around the neighborhood with the best pals. Would you ever imagine that technology during a, is taking over during a meal, playtime, or an event? Well, it is happening, and it's happening at a rapid rate. Now go ahead and open your eyes. Take a look at this picture for me real quick. Kids then, and kids now. Can you guys kind of relate to that? Exactly. So I'm here to inform you guys why you should play Kandama. I'll be digging into the social, mental, and physical benefits of playing it, the roots and history of where Kandama came from, and the different types, shapes, sizes, price points that are available in today's market. So, let's get into why you should listen. Here's the problem. Social media technology abuse amongst teens and adolescents. Here's a solution. Learning the history of Kandama and major benefits involved with Kandama, such as hand-eye coordination, patience, and social skills, and how you can take action. How to get involved with us at Konami USA. Here's a problem. With the current social trends of social media, Konami can, or Konami can be a replacement of, of an iPhone, iPad, computer, or a video game console. So everywhere you look, you got people taking selfies trying to get the best lighting for that Snapchat selfie. Or you have people in gold by looking at a screen playing video games. You also have people walking around playing Pokemon Go in the middle of an intersection. I, for one, am guilty of all three of these things. What about you guys? Guilty of that? In a recent study um, from Pew Research Center, uh, researched by Amanda Linkhart, she states that over the past two decades, video game and internet technology have shifted, eliminating the need to be in the same room as a requirement for playing games with friends and others. So basically what that means is you don't have to be in the same room as somebody to engage in something. You know, that's why these kids are attached to their cell phones, attached to these iPads and everything like that. I also want to talk about the boom in technology and social media. As technology continues to expand social media platforms, we will adhere to those changes. Selfies become stories, stories become vlogs, vlogs become YouTube channels. Anyone can become an Instagram model these days, right? Kandama offers a unique way to be different, to create, and to meet like-minded individuals in a smallish community that is 100% accepting of everyone. So I'm going to play a video for you guys real quick. Just to show you guys a little bit of the uniqueness of what Kandama offers. <laughs> Take a second to think about something that you used to let go or relax. Kandama can be used as a stress reliever, escape, or in most cases, used for the pure enjoyment and love for the game. It's also a tool to help engage more as a parent to your son or kid. I myself get caught up in technology as well. I myself get caught up in being on social media too much. I use it as a stress reliever. You guys convinced yet? Don't worry, I have more. So, now that I've expanded your mind with the facts and statistics about possible benefits of Kandama, let's change gears a little bit about the and learn about the history of Kandama and possible solutions to fix it. Here's the solution. Understand the history of where the game comes from, the many benefits Kandama entails, and how we work as an organization. History of Kandama. This is one of my teammates, Wyatt Bray. He's actually a 2015 world champion. Kandama originated in Japan and evolved over time into a culture aspect of everyday life. So everyone in Japan actually knows what Kandama is. They grew up with it in, in their schooling and culture. So out of, out of the school days, I'm not too sure exactly what grades, but they take 10 minutes out of their day to play Kandama. Believe it or not, it's actually started as a drinking game. So if you miss the cup, then you drink. But as it moved into a cultural thing, that kind of went away. So how did it merge itself in the US? 
According to the CEO and President of Canal USA, Jeremy Stevenson states, I took a trip to Japan and a friend of mine let me try his Kanam out. I ended up bringing it back to the States where people saw it and friends started to ask, hey, what is that and where can I get one of those things? So how does it work? You guys are probably asking, you're talking about all these things, so how does it work? I'm going to teach you real quick. So the basics of it is to hold it here like this and you pop it up on the big cup, the small cup, the base cup. Those are the traditional things and then you spike it. But it can go into many different possibilities. What you perceive with it, what you create with it is what you get. Simple is key here. Simple yet the most challenging and satisfying game. Kanama stands out with its simple design and creative new ways to have fun. Simple. Kanama is simple yet a million possibilities. So let's compare to our competitors. On the left here we have the leading Kanama brand worldwide which is Kanama USA. This is a Kanama USA Pro model. On the right here we have the knockoff brand and one of the least favorite Kanama companies. Why Kanama USA you ask? We are 100% Kendama. There's other people that do yo-yos, there's other people that do other skill toys, but we are 100% Kendama. We strive to provide the highest quality Kendamas to our customers and our professional team. Not only do we offer the best of the best, but we're also number one in customer satisfaction. A press release statement on July 14, 2009 in Smyrna, Georgia, where our actual warehouse is, its reports say, Kendama USA is America's original and most trusted Kendama source, and people from all over the world have now been exposed to Kendama. We are proud to say that if you live outside of Japan and have played, it's almost surely because of Konami USA. So, I want to talk about the wood species and the different price points of each Kendama. From the left side to the right, you're going from your most basic Kendama to more of the advanced professional style. So, with the different wood types, I don't know if anybody is into woodworking or knows about it. Uh, the left one here is a birch ken with a glossy red paint tama. You can get into beach style of, of wood species. This is a padded wood and, and then this is an ash wood. So we use a lot of different colors, uh, a lot of different wood types and different paint styles on the ball. So let's recap here what we've discussed. The problem regarding social media amongst teenagers. We've analyzed the solution to these problems by examining the history and how playing Kendama can help personal growth and hand-eye coordination and patience. And finally, I helped you understand why this organization is a must to get involved in and where you can purchase a Kendama of your own. So let's continue to change lives. Thank you. Question one. Well, yes. This is really cool. Like, you actually work for a major company and have your own like, name. Yeah. So. I found, I found Kendama when I was 17 years old in high school and I picked it up because it was super fun and something new to me and I immediately got hooked to it. That's the thing with Kendama and I'm sure some of you guys feel that way about other things but I picked it up and didn't let it go for a year. I ended up putting two YouTube videos up online and I got sponsored by Kendama USA which is this company here that you see. And I started out as an amateur, so the first thing that I did, the first thing I did in my assignment was to fly out to New York City for a trade show. For the last seven years, I've been able to go to 16, 17 plus trade shows. I've been able to travel all over the world. I just recently got back from a world tour, which was the Make Waves World Tour, where I traveled to four countries and 19 cities throughout the United States. So you, you've been doing this for seven years. Yeah. It seems like, and, and I don't know if, if any of you guys have kids, Last year at the elementary school, there are times where um, it, it gets into a new city or a new scene and no one really knows what it is. Right. And then one kid gets it. And then that kid shows his friend. And that builds into this huge circle of all these kids having one thing in common. And then everyone in the school has a kendama. So it builds from that and then we host events. Like when I came out to San Diego, I was able to host events here. So. I put up on my social media that I'm going to be here at this time. Kids would come out, they'd have fun. It's it's just a good time for kids to come out and to go to events. So that's kind of how it built up. People come into it every day, and it's a good thing. So what makes, as a kendama person, what do you what specifically are you looking for? Um, so I designed this kendama to be the best playable kendama in many aspects. I chose Ashwood because I really enjoy the grain of how it looks when you get into more high level play and you understand Kendama a little bit more. Uh, the grain of the wood type just makes it look really, really great for photos, video, to play, it breaks in really nice. Um, I also picked a super stick paint, so if you feel this, I'll pass this around, it's more of like a grippy paint. 
So when you actually put it on there, you can actually balance it. With some of these other ones with glossier paint, it doesn't tend to stick like that. With this one in here, it's a silk paint, so it's actually a nice smooth finish and it feels really nice in your hands. But we want to create the best possible kendama ever. The, you know, we've gone through prototype after prototype with our whole professional team. So um, it, it really just depends on your play style. You can have a glossier paint, you can have a heavier ball, you can have all the, these different things. Um, and then the last thing I want to go over too is the tracking of this. So when you start to get into higher level play, you can actually see that I can rotate that where the ball is on this part and the blue is on this side. So I know not to spike it here, but I know to wait, wait, wait and spike it. So, so. it's kind of crazy because my son is a phenomenal fanatic. <laughs> and I, I didn't pay him no mind. I was just buying them for him, but I was buying the ones at Walmart. Yeah. And that's what I'm saying, it's like the knockoff stuff, like once you get into Kondama and you understand it, like you know when the knockoff stuff is there. Anytime we don't get it, oh I want the one, I'm like, man, I'm not paying no $49. What yeah. The, <laughs> you know, right, but, they know, the kids yeah, know. Yeah, they know, but, he's telling yeah. them, no, I don't the want the know. one no more. It's and that's good. the thing, is you get you get into Kondama and you're like, oh, it looks the same. All, right. Some of you who've never seen Kondama, it probably looks all the same to you. But as you get into it more and you understand it and you get into the culture and you, and you find these things that what can not is you understand that oh that's the good stuff or that's a good type you know and, like even uh, down to the string because yeah. like one of one of the better kendamas came with replacement strings and then she uses it those strings on the other cheaper kendamas because yeah. the string makes a difference in how easy it is and exactly what have you yeah so, I think for me it's almost like Calvin, you a lot of these toys are similar like in Mexico mm -hmm. the barrel is stick and the yeah. I saw these play with them in the school. Yeah. Yeah, I lost my when I saw it. Yeah, I'm glad that this is going to be bad. You said that he needs to get out. Yeah, I got buddies to find out. He once said that Halo is one of the games of religion. Yeah. yeah. The so the bolero is actually the Me the Mexican toy of that. So just the ball and cup. Yeah. Every every sort of uh, culture has that sort of thing. So the, in the sure. United States, the ball and cup, the bolero is in, in Mexico. You have the bilboque, which is in France, and then you have the kendama, which is in Japan. So like you were saying, like, I lost my mind when I saw it was fifty dollars. Yeah. The way this thing I exactly. It, it it really does. At first, people are like, Why are you gonna pay that much money for right. a piece of wood? But as you get into it and understand it more. You, you really understand why we do what we do. And with Konami USA, we're 100% Konami, so we're striving for this to continue this community going and going. Now with that community, as you were saying, uh, with this information, do you actually do stuff for community? Do you actually go out there and just, uh, you know, just play with them? Not this is really good for kids, but uh, like charitable contributions and that organization with Konami? Is there somebody doing that Yeah, so I actually am, I, I travel all over the world to either go to contests or play kendama, but my main focus in kendama is to really spread it to communities and kids and, and really hit that aspect, but we work with organizations and toy shops like Learning Express, so we go out to there to do promotional stuff with them. Uh, sometimes it's, you know, on voluntary, so we just go up and, and do an event for them, and, you know, it's, it's for the kids. And in, the, in, the, in the end result, money is money, you can always make money, but in the, in the end result, you're never going to get that back from a kid who is just super, super stoked and, and smiling. Right. Like that, that, my last slide on my PowerPoint, there's just kids that are smiling, and that's literally the best feeling in the entire world. So, uh, yeah, I'm glad you asked that question, because we definitely dig into that. Yeah, what's up? Are we able to like, organize your own events and promote Kandama? What is it? USA? Yeah. Or is it only like no, I actually do plan and promote my own events. So through my Instagram, my Facebook, my Periscope, which I'm on right now, and my camera and YouTube, like I promote a lot of my own stuff. And with the help of Konami USA, Konami USA is my sponsor, so I go through that. But through this whole journey that I've been on and through business, I've been able to learn how to actually plan my own events. So it's not just me playing Kandama, it's business, it's speaking like this, it's doing planning events. So there's a whole range of things that it's so helpful with. And the fact that I'm striving for and want to be motivated to learn more, that's that's all on me. But it can happen to all of you in any situation you want to get into. All right. I don't want to, sorry, I've taken up way too much time. Thank you guys, appreciate it. <laughs>